Hey, it's Tim here and we're back. It's 2020 and finally, nearly the end of January, and I'm finally getting a video out to kick off the year. Now, I've actually been quite busy since the beginning of the year. I've actually been working on a few things. If you haven't checked it out already, check out the Path to Normalcy video that Tableau launched a couple of weeks ago. I was actually behind making that, narrating that, editing it, producing it. So that's something I was working on over the Christmas break. And alongside that, I've actually been working on something else really, really special that I'm going to be announcing today. Actually, I've announced it already if you follow me on Twitter. It's the Tableau Tim website redesign. Essentially, I've gone from top to bottom, completely redesigned my blog so that it's a better place for hosting videos. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a bit more about how it works. The other thing I want to do is put a little bit of a focus on other creators in the space. There are lots of other people creating great YouTube content. And I remember this time last year, I was starting out on the same journey with only 800 subscribers. And here we are with thousands. I'd love to spread that love to lots of other great YouTubers. So I'm also going to be featuring three YouTubers I think you should be following who are just starting out on their journey are doing great content. And I think you're going to enjoy what they're making. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's take a look at the website. I've actually got it here on screen and um, I have spent a lot of time actually redesigning this. It's actually been a, a passion of mine for the last three months, actually. Back in November, I realized with 2020.4 that YouTube just wasn't the best place to share videos. And I know that sounds ironic, but the real challenge with YouTube, especially when you're trying to create learning content, is that your video is always at the mercy of whatever other interest that person has. And for me, that's F1, Destiny, Call of Duty Warzone, and... <laughs> It doesn't matter how many videos I watch about Tableau, a Warzone video or an F1 video is only two videos away as a suggestion. So what I wanted to do is to create a safe place for the videos, essentially somewhere where if you're actually searching for this content and you want to spend a bit of time focused on Tableau and learning Tableau, my blog or my website could actually help with that. And actually you can see it here on screen. Um, it's hopefully what I think is a very fresh design. It's something very uh, modern and it works great on mobile and on desktop. Um, if I just show it to you here on screen, if I just uh, collapse this down here, you can actually get a glimpse of what the mobile design looks like. And it works great in both setups. This is absolutely designed with uh, a view that sometimes when you hit that link, you're actually on your uh, smallest device and you might want to come back and look at it a little bit later. Um, the other thing I've done is I've spent some time sort of categorizing my videos. So the first thing you'll see when you arrive here is a homepage, videos, playlists, blogs, a date and podcast. I'll talk a bit about that towards the end. And then obviously social links. Now, this I'm not one to sort of, um, you know, have social links all over the place. This is the only place I have them, literally. Um, I was even adamant that I didn't need an about page. But after talking to a few colleagues and friends, about an about page seemed uh, very necessary. So I've created one. Um, but it's in very much order of sort of how I think you should interact with the channel. So um, if you want to find out about me, great. Um, newsletter is going to be the best way for people who maybe don't want to come to the blog every single day to check what's new. They just want something in their inbox once a month, just telling them what's on the blog. Nothing else, no promo, no marketing, no sales bits, just that. Um, YouTube, obviously, if you know about this channel, you hopefully already know about YouTube. But for those who don't, that's an alternative place to go. But here's the thing. It shouldn't really matter if you're on this blog. Everything on my YouTube channel is actually also going to be available here. The other thing is LinkedIn, Twitter, Tableau Public, Discord. Look, I haven't published anything to Tableau Public in a long while, but people keep asking for my Tableau Public profile. This year, I'm obviously going to change that. It's about time I publish something new to the public uh, gallery this year. So we're going to be doing that. In terms of the rest of the website, when you arrive, it's predominantly focusing on the latest big thing that I've done. So in this case, it's the 2020.4 playlist. And you can see here, there's a big fat call to action to go ahead and watch it. As you scroll down, you get a glimpse of the recent content in lots of different areas. So the 2020.4 playlist is a playlist and of course you can see the three most recent playlists here as well if i scroll down you can see the three most recent videos and the difference between a video and a playlist is essentially that a playlist is like a group of videos focused on one topic whereas a video is just that one topic on its own so um, that's sort of the distinction between the two when you sign up to a playlist you're, you're signing up to something that's about an hour long maybe 30 minutes long when you sign up to a video you're just going to watch something very very brief now of course you might watch the playlist in chunks and do it in five minute chunks but it just gives you a hint of the type of content and the type of interaction that content needs so that's very much the difference between playlists and videos they're all videos but there's just that little bit of uh, 
uh, clarity between them. Last but not least, I rarely write blogs. And so I do actually have a blog right at the bottom here. Uh, in fact, if I go to the blogs page, it's right at the top of the page. I actually call it out. I much prefer to make videos. And so you can see here that, um, you know, these are very, very rare. The last one I wrote was in April of last year. It's nearly been a year since my last blog. Um, but, you know, when there is only one way to share something and that's written, this is where you'll find it. If I go to some of the other pages now, the playlist page, I spent a lot of time on this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm really passionate about the way this is laid out. Um, there's lots of effort going into making videos. And I think it's very, very easy to just throw videos onto YouTube and just throw videos and just record a ton of videos. Um, you know, it's very easy to do that. It's very hard to make that content cohesive, useful, and actually give it a place where people enjoy coming back to it. That's why people love going to things like Udemy. That's why people love going to things like LinkedIn Learning, because they create a space and a structured place for you to access that content. So what I've tried to do here is to try and create a version of that. Now, of course, this is entirely free content, so it's not the same standard as Udemy with all the bookmarks and chapters, but it's pretty much, uh, you know, all there. And I'm going to try and replicate that as much as possible. So if I go into the 2020.4 play, Playlist, you'll see that the playlist has this big feature page which tells you what you're in for. Now, because this website was designed after 2020.4 was released, um, this video here is actually just the first video. But what I'm hoping to do is in the future, this video will be a summary view. So this will be a five minute, 10 minute summary of the entire release telling you what to expect then you'll have a playlist of items. And obviously you'll see a summary of how many videos are involved, how long, what kind of difficulty level. This is really calling out to some future content I have planned for intermediate and advanced users. So um, this is a really, really great place to sort of come and learn Tableau. And of course, when you click on any of these, you click on them, it takes you to the video straight away. The video loads from YouTube. So if you're used to seeing my content in YouTube and you're logged into YouTube, you're gonna get all the same benefits of YouTube knowing what you've watched. If you're a YouTube premium subscriber, you can of course download these for offline viewing, which is another great sort of quality of life improvement. But of course, when I switch between these, uh, you'll see that the page doesn't reload. It just lets you hop straight to the next video. That was a really, really important thing that I wanted to do. I hate that friction when you go from one page to the next. Everything refreshes. Who knows what will happen? Um, if you're really focused and you just want to flick through these, you really can just do that. Now, one thing I'm also going to do is at the moment, I've just got a notes section. But in the future, I'll also have a files tab and a transcript try because accessibility is important and getting access to the content I'm using in these videos is also important. So once I have that set up in Dropbox or data.world, I'm going to introduce that to the future playlists uh, that are coming forward. So that's going to be something really exciting uh, to see. And of course, uh, lots of the content at the moment is just a bulk export from my YouTube channel. So some of these descriptions, man, I can't type, I can't spell either. So I'm really sorry for any typos or uh, mistakes you see in here. But once I get a chance to go back and revisit all the content that I exported, I'll be cleaning that up over time. Um, the playlist is broken down into sections, desktop, uh, tableau prep, server online. Now the key thing I've done here is desktop and web authoring and now one section. I very much believe that this year Tableau online will become the best version of Tableau to use along with the web authoring experience. So I'm starting to merge the definition of those two because a lot of what's possible in desktop is now possible in web authoring. So that's why those two are together. People have asked me about that. And some people are even skeptical that that's possible. Like it's been possible for a while. So if you haven't been in tune with Tableau, definitely check it out. Definitely make sure everything uh, is lined up for you so you can enjoy that too. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is when we go to the videos page, you'll just see these one-off videos. And these are very much, um, you know, isolated videos. And they don't just contain content that I've created. Some of the content I've created on Tableau's channel is on here. This Path to Normalcy is the video I called out a little bit earlier on. We've also got this 2020.4 playlist that I did for the information lab. So this is actually a two hour live stream, believe it or not. And if you go in there, I've, I've, I've spent some time doing timestamps so you don't have to worry where anything is. It's all there, you can access it. And these actually send you off to YouTube. Uh, when I export the links, this is just how they work. So the last thing I wanna do is feature some YouTubers who are also creating great Tableau content. Uh, this time last year, I was starting out on my journey with YouTube and Tableau. And essentially one of the hardest challenges is actually just getting people to see your videos because you're creating great content, but YouTube's uh, algorithm just 
hates sharing your content if you're a new YouTuber. So one of the best ways to help out is if you find someone who's good on YouTube, share it far and wide. And what I wanna do now is show you three great YouTubers that have been sharing great content that I think you should check out. Um, first of all, if you just go to the social tab here and go to my channel page, you'll find that uh, if you scroll down the channel page, I actually have those YouTubers featured right here in this uh, great channels to follow section on my site. So if we just scroll down here and we just look at this, the first one is SQL Bell. Now, if we go to her channel, it's actually really, really great. She's been on YouTube since 2020. And she's already got a thousand subscribers and she's got some absolutely stunning content. If you look at some of the view counts in some of these videos, they are absolute bangers. Bearing in mind, they only just started a few months ago. This is a really great place place to go to find out and see some variety in lots of different ways. The same video can be done by different creators. Um, she's got a really great style for explaining things as well. Uh, and I think it's just great that she's also got Power BI experience. She's able to do some comparisons that I just can't do because I've never used Power BI. And so it's good to have that variety. Go check out her channel, subscribe to the content and make sure she's in your inbox every time she posts a video. If you go to about page here, it says that she posts weekly videos and she also has something on Teachable that you can subscribe subscribe to and pay for and then uh, get something sort of suited for you. So check out her channel and uh, whatever she's up to. Again, it's great content. I've watched it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, check it out. The next channel I want to focus on is uh, another great channel. Now, this is a much, much newer channel. Uh, and what I'd love for everyone to do here is to absolutely go to his page and follow it. It's Data with Barra. Now, I hope I'm saying these names correctly as well. Like I never know how to pronounce uh, YouTube names. Now, I learned something from uh, Data with Barra here, and it's actually his thumbnails. His thumbnails are on point. Now, if you're a YouTuber, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's pretty hard to understand. But all I'm going to say is his thumbnails are very descriptive they get to the point and they make you want to click and watch the content but when you actually get into the content the content's even better he's got a great design a great theme here on his channel it's really well done and he explains it from a very technical point of view when he talks about the tableau file types i did a video on this i did an actual playlist on this but he's done it in a completely different way the really different twang and i think you should really go in there and check out the content i i personally really really enjoyed it it makes me think more about the way i'm recording videos and doing content it makes me realize there's lots of different ways of articulating the same point but what's great about youtube is that instead of me having to think about all those ways I can do it my way and you can also enjoy uh, Barrow's way as well. So that's another great channel to check out. Uh, literally just started in the last few months, last four months, only on 200 subscribers. Come on, let's get everyone on our channel to go on here and subscribe. You'll have three great YouTubers coming into your inbox almost weekly or monthly. Now, if I go back to my channel page here and I go to Andre, Andre is actually a close friend and uh, a colleague of mine. Andre is a great developer. Now he's been creating lots of developer focused content, especially for Tableau. He does this on the Information Lab channel and also on his own channel here. And what's great about his content is that it's for those people who are really super technical, people who want to understand cloud technology, developing, uh, for Tableau, extensions, APIs. Andre's channel has really got this on lock. His best series is his embedding Tableau series. That's one of the best things I've watched on YouTube related to Tableau involving APIs or development. So absolutely go check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe. That's three great channels you're going to absolutely enjoy. I guarantee you you'll enjoy all the content they produce um, because it, in many ways it's better, if not like far better than, than what I'm making. So go check it out, go subscribe, and uh, hopefully you'll have uh, four YouTubers creating great content for you on a frequent basis okay that's pretty much it for the video it's been a bit of a long one i try to keep it short but in the end um it didn't quite work out so here we are this is what it is so um if you've liked the video you know what to do 2021 is here we've got lots of content planned um, lots of changes still to come, lots of ideas still to come out and shared. I've got lots of different ideas buzzing in my mind, but I'm just glad we got tableautim.com out and now we have a home for our videos. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.